Okay, here we are. Now we're going to talk about VCRs and how they eat the tapes. Now this is a big pain in the ass because you never know when it's going to happen. But once you, usually it happens when you eject the tape. It doesn't come out right and, it's, and the film gets stuck on those things that point up inside the VCR. And um, sometimes you can get it out without anything getting messed up and all that. And then you can just twist the circle in the back and, and that, re, that winds up the tape and you can get it back in fine. I did that with some 8mm tapes too. Um, all I'm going to tell you though is, is that there's no real way to know when it's going to eat your tape. Until sometimes certain VCRs, that's all they do is eat tapes. <laughs> um, it did it to me several times. I had a VCR here that ate the Titanic, um, the Part 2 VCR tape. Um, at another person's house, I have a VCR currently. I don't know if it still eats the tapes. It's been a while. The last time I remember, maybe I just, you know, I was trying to eject it too fast or I did something stupid with the VCR. I have no clue. But until I can test that VCR again, I have no, cl no clue. So what do you do if you don't know if a VCR is going to eat the tape or not? You don't know if there's a real problem. Someone says there's a problem, but there's none. Is you put a tape in it that doesn't make a difference. Um... The one thing you have to do, though, is you have to put a tape that has something on it. If you put a blank tape inside your player, it'll eat that tape, but you also won't see if there's anything on, that'll pop up on the, you know, the picture of the television. My recommendation is to find some of those um, old tapes you might have, like, that were from t television or something. Use one of those and go from there and test, on, test them on all the VCRs and stuff. Um... I've de dealt with all kind of brands, um, Sony, um, what else, JVC, all kinds of different VCR brands, and it has nothing to do with a brand. You might say one brand's worse with handling VHS than another. Quite personally, I think there really is no difference, except for maybe that really bad video I made about the uh, Emerson VCR, whatever it was. That VCR was horrible. Um, that didn't eat any of my tapes, though, surprisingly. <laughs> it did not have qu terrible quality when playing, though. Um, I'm trying to think. When's the last the time that it ate a tape of mine? I don't remember what it was. Um, I was trying to play something. I, I stuck it into this JVC VCR. And, um, oh boy, did it. I think I had the... Um, I told somebody in the house, Let's, you need, we'll throw this VCR away. It eats tapes. I'm surprised they just they listen to me most of the time when I say something people just ignore me or just tell me I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about but I was surprised this time so the VCR got thrown away that's the most important thing um, now people are gonna say well the first time it gets stuck throw it away no like I said you have to experiment put you gotta have a tape just for testing to see if the VCR can handle it and then you gotta try it three or four times and then if it works then it's not the VCR because if you just keep putting in all your good VCR movies they're all gonna get eaten up all right bye bye